apparently it's morning time. Uh, right now it's 10:29. That's bad focus. 10:29, and I had to be at physical therapy to this morning at eight. I tried starting the car earlier, right? 7:27, and and I tried starting the car. It said like seven, around 7:30. So I can leave and it's like the car didn't want to start like it sputtered. I recorded it on my phone. The first time when I tried, the first time I tried um, cutting the car on, I didn't record it. But the second time I recorded it on my phone. Was, but I just started the car up and it made weird noises. What the hell was that? Dude, I seen a wrench pop up. In that corner, right there, in the top right corner. Like I just got this car. What is this? Yep. So basically, that's what happened. And now I'm about to try to attempt it again because I'm recording this, I'm vlogging this on my YouTube. So I might post on Instagram, send it forward, send it on, post it on YouTube. So let's see what happens. Probably fuel pump, I don't know. Okay. It's a neutral. And it's only 500. Let's see that focus. 551.6 miles. Clutch in. That's all. Do it have oil in it? That's horrible. Oh my god. That's horrible. So now it finally it started, but now y'all heard all that clunking noise. Like you the only one here, son. Last two, first two in, last two out. Easily I go in the box. Man, that's a big difference. <laughs> God damn, that's a big difference. I love this shit, bro. Not gonna lie. God. Hell yeah. Happy not even a word. <laughs> Man, y'all see this? It all looks like that because we shared this car today. This was my car today, so I treat uh, Oh, yeah, you, yeah, okay. <laughs> Damn. You leave something with us, man. You gotta. Oh, yeah. It belongs here for sure. Golly. Red be pulled out. Hey, the sun don't even have to be out. Oh man. This is it right here, y'all. God damn. Quick thumbnail. She look too good. Yeah. Snap it up, snap it up. Man, y'all.
YouTube. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I know I've been gone for uh, a while, a long time. And when I say it has been a journey, it has been rough, irritating, it's just been a lot, like a lot of negative things and situations. So, um, watch this whole video. Uh, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. If your friends told me about me, if you're new to this channel, I'm DeAndre 10K. And this is my new Shelby GT350 that I purchased. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to roll this baby. Okay, so fast forward, you know, this is my new 2020 Shelby GT350. Grab a lime green with the uh, black stripes. And I purchased this car July the 18th. Um, if you don't know, I stay in Memphis. Uh, I went to Oklahoma City. I drove there and I drove the car back. And uh, I'm gonna keep this long story short, guys. Re the reason why I haven't been posting or or did anything with this car uploading wise anything like that is because my motor blew you know <laughs> it feels weird it feels strange saying it but that's what it was that's what happened you know we left early in the morning went to Oklahoma to get the car made it back Sunday I had to work Sunday I didn't drove the car to work I just parked it I got off early Sunday morning to watch the car, get the bugs off, and I wanted to do a video shoot. You know, I wanted to shoot some pictures. Uh, Monday, I didn't drive the car at all. Tuesday, I, had, uh, I got in the car, it wouldn't start. Um, as you see in the video, I used another car, went to physical therapy, came back, tried to start the car, it started. And when I say it did a lot of shaking and knocking, it was like scary, it was ridiculous. That I could just think of was like, you know, this can't be happening, I hope this is not true. So, and when the motor blew, first blew on, I had 151 miles. And it was hurtful, it really was. Cause for this to be a brand new car, I wasn't, that was like the last thing that I was expecting. Ford had my car for three months. They had my car for three months. And when I say literally, guys, I ran through two motors. So the original motor, blue, shot. First motor that they ordered, it took a while to get it. It took like two weeks. It took about two or three weeks. They got the motor, installed it. On cold start, it's a low knock. And I'm just like, wow, are you serious? Shouldn't be knocking. They tried to tell mechanic, yeah, after a cold start, on, on, on the cold start, it knocks. It tends to do it like a knock or a tick. Now, once the engine is warm, it goes away. The mechanic was trying to tell them, no, this is not a normal characteristic. Ford tried to say it's a normal char characteristic. They kept trying to tell them, yes, it is. And he told them, fly out somebody. And fly out somebody, fly out, fly out one of the Ford representatives or engineers and, and tell them to come listen to what I'm listening to. Yeah, this is not normal. But they decided to authorize and give me a new motor. So the second motor that was ordered which is in the car currently now. And just to say guys, the car the car is home with me, okay? Here's the car, it's at my home. The car been sitting at Ford lot for three months. So I have a strong motor, long block. The first motor they ordered, coming to find out, I had a crack in the piston down in the cylinder and it was causing piston slap. The car was could have been drivable. I could have accepted it, but the mechanic wouldn't let me accept it. Because, you know, it's a lot of cars out here, whether it's 5.0s or 350s that knocks and piston slap. You know, it's people that's out, motors out there knocking now and they drive it hard, boost it or whatever, and nothing happens. And he wouldn't let me walk away or drive away with my car with that. So he ended up fighting to give me another motor and boom. Uh, this the car. It's right here. And after three, three, three long months, three long months, of being carless and without the car, man, it, it just been painful. So that's the reason why I haven't been posting. You know, especially I drove six and a half hours back. It actually took me seven hours and some change to get back to my hometown because I was driving it regularly, driving it normal. I was, you know, keeping it under four, 
4K RPMs, all of that good stuff to break the motor in. But of course that didn't happen. It's still still blue. I don't know the reason why the first motor had blue. Earlier footage, as you seen, yesterday I had got my car ceramic coated and the car is just beautiful. I got my car ceramic coated. I have not got my windows tinted and I have not started on modifications yet, guys. So this is the Shelby. This is her. Um I happy that the car is good. You know, beautiful, beautiful car. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful all the way around. You know, that is just legendary. It has been a process guys, it honestly has. Just to get a new motor, have to order another motor. It just, it just a lot guys, like it was painful. I'm back posting, I'm gonna continue to upload for you guys and I have plans with this car. We have topics to discuss. So if you're new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. And man, it's, I'm just happy, I'm grateful to have my car and I just thank God. This is how I'm just gonna end the video guys, so. I'm back.